Halina't sagutan natin ang Grade 5 Math, Quarter 2, Week 8. At ang ating Lesson 1 ay ang ratio of using either the column or fraction. Pumanda sa ating pagsasagot. Pag-aralan natin ang ratio. What is ratio? Ratio deals with comparison of two items. Sa ating larawan ay makikita ang mga books at ang mga pupils. Bilangin natin ang mga books. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ngayon naman ay bilangin natin ang pupils. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ang number of books ay 4 at ang number of pupils naman ay 8. 4 is to 8 ang ating ratio. Kung gagawin naman itong lowest term, magiging 1 to 2. Sa bawat isang book ay may dalawang pupils na gagamit. Kung fraction, ito ay 4 8 or 1 half. We can use the greatest common factor or GCF in simplifying the given ratios or fractions. Pag-aralan natin ang chart. Ang nakalagay ay ratios, terms, GCF between the terms, divide the terms by their GCF and values of the ratios in lowest terms. Ang given sa number 1 ay 3 to 6. Ang terms na ginamit ay ang number 3 at number 6. Ang GCF ng 3 at 6 ay 3. I-divide natin ang terms sa GCF. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Kaya ang final answer ay 1 to 2. Next, 9 to 27. Terms 9 and 27. Ang GCF ng 9 at 27 ay 9. I-divide natin ang terms. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Ang final answer natin ay 1 to 3. Next, 72 over 8. 72 and 8 ang terms at ang GCF ay 8. I-divide natin ang terms sa GCF. 72 divided by 8 equals 9 and 8 Divided by 8 equals 1. Ang answer natin ay 9 over 1. Next, 15 over 9. Ang terms ay 15 and 9. Ang kanilang GCF ay 3. And then, i-divide natin ang terms sa GCF. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And then, ang ating final answer ay 5 over 3. Learning task 1. Express each ratio of the first quantity to the second quantity. And reduce to its simplest form. Ang given sa number 1 ay 2 teachers to 46 pupils. Ano ang ating sagot? Isulat muna ang 2 and then 46. 2 to 46. Dalawang pictures sa 46 pupils. Ngayon, i-divide natin ang terms sa GCF. Ang GCF ay 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 46 divided by 2 equals 23. Kaya ang ating final answer ay 1 to 23. Sa isang teacher ay may 23 pupils. Number 2, 21 garbage cans to 14 classrooms. Isulat natin ang ratio na 21 to 14. At i-divide natin ang GCF. Sa GCF, ang 21 at 14. Ang GCF nila ay 7. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. Kaya ang ating final answer ay 3 to 2. May 3 garbage cans sa dalawang classrooms. Number 3, 
36 glasses of juice to 30 sandwiches. Isulat uli ang 36 to 30. And then, i-divide sa GCF na 6. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Kaya ang ating final answer ay 6 to 5. Sa bawat anim na glasses of juice ay may limang sandwiches. Number 4, 12 flowers to 4 bases. Isulat natin ang 12 to 4 at i-divide sa GCF na 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Kaya ang final answer natin ay 3 to 1. Number 5, 4 books to 10 pupils. Isulat ang 4 to 10 at i-divide sa GCF na 2. Ang terms na 4 and 10. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Ang final answer natin ay 2 to 5. O dalawang books sa bawat 5 pupils. Ngayon naman ay pumunta tayo sa learning task 2. Find the ratio of the time spent for the different activities. AJ's daily activities, and then the number of hours spent. So exercise, mayroong 1 hour. Sa so sleep, 8 hours a day. School, 8 hours. Studying and doing assignments, 3 hours. Recreation, 2 hours. Meals and personal hygiene, 2 hours. And other activities, 2 hours. Number one, sleeping to a whole day. The answer is 8 to 24. Kung kukuri natin ang lowest term ng 8 to 24, ang sagot ay 1 to 3. Number two, studying to the time for recreation. The answer is 3 to 2. Number three, school time to a whole day. The answer is 8 is to 24 or 1 is to 3. Number 4. Time for activities to the time for meals and personal hygiene. The answer is 2 is to 2 or 1 is to 1. Number 5. Exercising to sleeping. The answer is 1 is to 8. Learning task 3. Write the following ratios to lowest term. 20 wins to 35 games. Ano ang lowest term ng 25 to 30? The answer is 4 is to 7. Number 2, 12 red balls to 96 blue balls. Ang GCF ng 12 at 96 ay 12. Kapag inilowest term natin, ito ay magiging 1 to 8. 1 is to 8. Number 3, 250 centimeter to 20 centimeter. Pareho silang divisible sa 10. Ang magiging sagot natin ay 25 is to 2. Number 4, what is the ratio of the letter A to all the letters in the word mathematics? Kapag binilang natin ang mga letters sa mathematics, ito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, ang magiging sagot natin ay 2 is to 11. Dalawang letter A at 11 ang letters na included sa mathematics. Number 5, what is the ratio of Saturday and Sunday to the days in a week? The answer is 2 to 7. Saturday and Sunday and then 7 days of the week is 7. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood at pakikinig. Sana ay may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na ito. 
Hanggang sa muli!